Okay, I'm in the uh, mono photography uh, blind, and I'm testing it out. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. I'm sitting in my backyard, and uh, and as you can see the setup here. And the one leg is sticking outside of the blind. I'm shooting out the side. I'm shooting out the side. My lenses keep fogging up because it's literally, I don't know, 80 degrees, humidity is high. It's always like that here in Tennessee. But sitting inside this blind, and I can see out the top here. You probably can't see, it's probably too much of a glare. I'm literally looking at the top and around the camera, so that's not bad. But um, shooting out the side seems to give me more room. Now, like I said in the beginning, you could buy a bigger door that goes um, that goes on here, and they're like fifteen dollars each. I bought them, but to be honest with you, it doesn't even look like you need them because this here automatically came with it so really you wouldn't want much more room than that and your heat is going out going out of the roof here anyways i really like the idea of the screen in the roof and right now there's a bunch of birds around the bird feeder and i'm really close guys i'm like i don't know not even 10 feet they don't even have a clue i'm here nothing they don't even care let me get some video of that Okay, the uh, chair I'm using inside this mono blind is the Helinox chair. It has a high back on it, and I also bought, um, I don't know what it's called, I'll have a link in the bottom, but it, it's got a flat part that connects to the legs so it spreads out the weight better, so that way if you were actually sitting on sand it wouldn't dig in, you wouldn't fall over, that type of thing. I definitely picked that up, I mean it's awesome when you connect it, and it's really sturdy. You know, I can literally rock back and forth if I choose to. Big round legs on the bottom, so it's not going to, and with the flat thing, it's not going to punch the floor. That's important. And uh, this, this is a nice setup I got here. I mean, that, I, that I've got set up. I got the heel and ox chair, which is really comfortable, which packs down small so you can connect it to the side of your backpack. Camera, you know, going through. The mom all blind here. Microphone's on this side if I choose to. Screen's above to let the heat out because it's super hot today. The leg of the tripod is sticking out. Like they advertise. Works really well. I could zip that up a little tighter if I wanted to. So, not too bad. Sitting down there. I got some extra batteries and stuff down there. A little bit of... Um, A little bit of room behind me. Um, enough for a small pack. If I had my big backpack, not enough room. The big backpack would have to sit outside. Which is not a big deal. I mean, you can throw a cover over the backpack too and it'd be the same. But, this pouch over here. Now this I like. Okay, let me show you this. This I like. They have a pouch here. You know, I, I threw my lens cap in there. And I'll probably end up throwing my batteries and stuff in there. There's a pouch at each end so you can uh, put some stuff in. And it really doesn't matter if you're shooting out either side or out the ends. I don't know, shooting out the ends I think gives me more room, especially on the chair. But then I'm a big guy too, I'm not a little guy, you know. I probably weigh in around, I, know, I think I last checked, I was 240, 250, somewhere around there. So I'm a big guy, I'm not a little guy. And there, there's enough room for my arms and stuff in here. Now I'm about 5'10". So, now if I was 6'2", I don't know, maybe this chair wouldn't, wouldn't, I got a little room there, see? So maybe 6' foot would be pushing it. I'd probably seal that window a lot better. Oh, there's a cardinal. So... They don't even care. This thing does not even affect them. Nothing at all. That's amazing. 
So yeah, you're gonna get some, uh, you're gonna get really close to wildlife with this and really shoot really well. <laughs> I'll even take some video of what it looks like with the camera outside. But the mono blind, it's like I said in my previous video. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. I wasn't impressed with the customer service, but the blind seems to be okay. And it seems like a fairly thick material. So it's not like nylon, like super thin, where, you know, they can see shadows of you and stuff. It's actually pretty thick, thick. Yeah, it's actually pretty thick. Now, one thing uh, most people probably see in my videos as you come, you see this uh, around my neck, this shemag. And it's completely different than any other shemag. And I'll have a link in the bottom to this. I mean, this is larger and thicker. And you wash these by hand. You don't wash them in a machine or you'll destroy them. And, uh... This helps to absorb the sweat on my neck. I've used it to filter water, um, to take out the debris. I mean, I'm constantly using these things when I'm out, whether it's backpacking or my camera equipment or whatever. I've had the cheap ones. I've had the ones that are nine, ten bucks, and you know, ten outings or whatever. They deteriorate. They fall apart. I've had this thing going on a couple of years now, and it still looks brand new. And uh, I've bought two or three since then but they've never worn out I've always had them and they're amazing literally amazing so literally right now I'm recording that bird on my birdhouse okay and I don't know like I said I'm not even I don't know 10 feet away and, and they don't even care about me right now. They don't care too. Even with me talking, the one is actually, I don't know, there's one out there like maybe six feet away and it's, you know, the way I'm seeing the way these birds are acting and they don't seem to care about me. I mean, literally I'm thinking a person could get away with probably one of those um, 70 by 300 Canon lenses that are like 150 bucks if they did want to do some nature photography and use this because they would probably get close enough and that's the thing about uh, wildlife photography what a lot of people don't seem to understand is that if you don't have the ten thousand dollars for those big lenses well your other choice is, is to camouflage yourself and get closer very much like a hunter does when uh, they bow hunt so, this is working out pretty good. I do have a lot of room on the sides of myself here. So, I don't know if you guys can see this. So, it's not too bad, you know. I got quite a bit of room on the sides. Up above, you can see I got lots of screen. Every now and then, I feel a little breeze, so it feels kind of good. But, um, it's not as hot as what my other blind is. Hmm. 